the whole seat with the cover with the adjustable sliding frame and my two inch uh, square aluminum brackets and the total is 3270 so we have the factory driver's seat which is power on the scale right now and this seat is exactly about 10 about 10 and a half pounds heavier than the passenger seat on the scale we got 60.44 pounds so definitely pretty definitely heavier than the Kirky combination we got both Kirky seats installed in the truck passenger and driver side and they look awesome got some new stuff for frostbite we're going to be putting in some turkey racing seats these jokers are super light the seat itself weighs about 12 pounds so after we get these things installed we're going to do a weight comparison with the factory seats and the kirky seats completely installed um, we got some other accessories over here that we're going to have to use to install them we got some seat brackets from corbo uh, racing and those brackets are going to let me be able to slide these seats forward and backwards, basically like the factory seats. And then we got some brackets, and of course we got the seat covers to go over these things. This isn't like a bolt-on, simple kind of dilly. This is going to be, uh, we're going to have to make it work kind of thing. So I got a bunch of stuff. Uh, we're hoping between everything I got, we can make them work and make them look pretty good. So we're going to kind of go at it step by step, and once it's done, Hopefully I like it and they look good and then it'll give you an idea of what you need to do if you want to try to tackle the same thing we're doing here today. So there you go. We're going to put Kirky seats in, drop some weight, have some badass race seats, and that's pretty much it. So let's get to it. All right, guys. So we're back here with the seats. This is the passenger side Corbo. Um popular seat company makes lots of lots of seats and accessories this is their seat track for the ram trucks uh, this is fully welded and assembled already and this is a drop-in bolt-in deal and this will give you manual adjustable sliding uh, seat tracks and it's hard to do it with one hand but anyway you get the idea you lift that up and the seat will move forward and backwards and then your seat belt buckle will bolt to the side here and this is a drop-in seat track assembly for a ram truck now what we're going to do is use those instead of the factory ones because i'm going to actually try to sell these seats that's the factory passenger seat right here um, i'm going to sell those or i'm going to give them to my son for his project which is Sub-Zero Dakota so we might put them in his truck I'm not sure yet but obviously passenger seats out and uh, I'm gonna grab this Corbo seat track so you can see how well it fits in drops in real nice bear with me I'm trying to do this all one-handed right now So, drop it down here. There we go. And that's what it looks like. That's the seat track assembly. Basically, it's pretty much the same height as the factory one. As you can see, it fits the floor very nice. So, you'll be able to use your factory hardware to bolt it in with. And, uh, very, very nice. So, basically, these guys right here, that's the part number for the passenger side. Um... These will more or less give you an, a lot of options with trying to bolt on aftermarket seats. Now you may have to make your own brackets on top of them, which we're going to be talking about that next here in a second of how we're going to mount these Kirky seats on top of here. But that's the way I want to go because I still want to be able to adjust my seat forward and backwards um, and have some, you know, adjustability. Definitely nice. I don't want to hard mount, you know, fix bolt them where they can't move. Um, 
to me, I don't know, that just, that just doesn't sound fun. It sounds like every time I need to do something in the truck, I'll be unbolting seats constantly. And uh, that just don't sound fun. So we went with these so we can have some uh, adjustability. And again, I could have used the factory seat tracks and probably did the same thing. Um, but I did not because, like I said, I'm either going to sell these seats because RT seats are actually worth a quite a bit of money. A lot of people want the RT seats. Or I'm going to give them to my son um, to put in his Dakota. Not really sure what we're going to do yet, but... Um, but yeah, they're either going to go for sale or we're going to try to make them fit in his Dakota. So we're going to grab the seat track here again. Go over here to the drawing board. And there's the, uh, the Kirky seat. <laughs> Real nice dilly. So the next thing up, my buddy is over here. He's marking these seats, uh, these, these square tubing. That we're about to cut down and what we're going to do give you an idea real quick so i think i'm going to use this this is actually square tubing that's this is aluminum this stuff's very light very strong um i also got some steel square tubing but this is a little bit heavier so we're trying to probably not use this but this would work just as well um but what we're going to do is we're gonna cut these down and uh, we're gonna bolt these on top of the seat track here where these factory holes are we're gonna bolt these square tubing bars across the top of the seats and we're about to cut them because we're actually gonna have them cut about flush right here on both sides so we're going to cut this side off a little bit and then we'll get these bolted down to the seat track one across the front here and then one across the back and then that's going to allow us to bolt on the Kirky seat bracket plates that's going to look something like this right here once it's all done those will bolt on like that and then the side of these plate plate brackets from Kirky actually bolt to the seat themselves and uh, that's kind of how it's going to work. So yeah, it's going to look a little funky right now until we get it all done. But stay tuned and uh, moving on to the next step. We're going to get these cleaned up, get them bolted onto the seat track and move forward. Alright guys, so we are moving right along here. And we are got our square tubing mounted to our seat tracks permanently. They are bolted in. And as you can see, we got the bolts inside here. Um, and those are bolted to the actual seat tracks we got from Corbeau Racing. And now we are working on mounting the Kirky seat brackets to that square tubing. So as you see, we got it pretty much um, set up here. We are going to actually make our own hole in these brackets on the corner of each one of the Kirky brackets here and drill a hole through our square tubing through the bracket so we can put some bolts in and bolt these brackets down and then when we get the seat up here the side of these brackets actually bolt through the side of the seat is how this works so that's where we're at right now that's what it's going to look like when we get those bolted on just kind of go around here so you get an idea and this is the back this is the rear of the seat. This is where our uh, seat belt buckle is going to bolt to right here. And that's where we're at. So we're going to get this stuff bolted down real quick. And then we're going to grab our Kirky seat. Put it up here. And then mark the holes in the side of these brackets. And then that's where the fun part is going to be as far as adjusting you know, how much we want our seat laid back uh, or forward per se. So we got to find the seat angle that we like, put it in there, try it out, see if we like it. If not, then we'll have to go up and down on these holes here until we figure out, you know, where we want our seat laying back. So that's it. All right, guys, we're back. We have the uh, Kirky brackets mounted to our aluminum tubing right here. So this is all one piece now. Everything's bolted together, one, one piece. And... Uh, not sure what this weighs yet, but it's pretty light still. 
definitely doesn't weigh much and uh, once we get the seat on and this is all completely one assembly just like our factory seat over there in the corner we're gonna weigh both setups so we're gonna weigh that seat just like it is and then we're gonna weigh our Kirky setup that we just put together with the seat on it see what the comparison is so there we go moving on we're gonna get our seat bolted on right now all right Mopar fam so as you can see we're moving right along we got the Kirky seat uh, briefly sitting up here on our bracket system uh, we have one bolt on each side going into the actual seat that way we can still pivot the seat as you see up and down right here to determine how much we want to adjust our seat and we do that right here so once we find out what our sweet spot is we will drill holes through the seat right here in this bracket and then that will be our adjustment point for our pitch back and forwards um, but right now we're pretty close uh, what we're going to do is take the seat now just like it is we're going to uh, briefly put it inside a frostbite and then bolt it down and then uh, i'm going to get in there and sit and just kind of find out where exactly we want to keep it adjusted at and then bolt it down completely and then we'll be uh, putting the cover on it and it should look pretty cool um yeah moving right along that is it so far this is uh turning out to work pretty good everything's going together pretty well with the supplies i got so there we go all right mopar fam check out that we got it sitting in there right now kirky seat actually fits really well in here it's really good it's about the same height as the factory seats slightly taller by about maybe three inches up here um, but fits pretty well the corbo brackets fit perfect as you can see I don't have it completely bolted in I just got two bolts uh, hand threaded right here but uh yeah fits pretty good we're about to sit in it right now and try to figure out exactly how much we want to uh, rake it back or forward real quick all right Mopar fam we're back and this seat is completely done now we just got to put the seat cover on and just wanted to give you a quick little rundown where I bolted it so I used the bolt here on the lower three holes and a bolt back here that's my pivot bolt so if I was a loose in this bolt take this bolt out completely I can rock the seat back and forward and then these three holes is my adjustment that I'm using to get my seat angle and from testing it out it appears that I like this hole right here so using this top hole on the lower three holes of the Kirky bracket has my seat raked back uh, I don't know how many degrees you would call that but it's pretty comfortable when it's in the truck uh, that's where we tested it out that's what I came up with so this is the passenger side we're gonna put the cover on it real quick let you guys see it and then we're gonna bolt it in the truck and then we'll be completely done on the passenger side all right Mopar fam so we are done with the passenger seat that's the Kirky cover installed looks pretty dang awesome fits really good fits pretty tight it's a snap-on deal just has little buttons that snaps around the seat the seat actually has decent cushion for being a race seat it's got nice little foam patches in here pretty nice spots for your harness uh, which I think we're gonna end up getting some harnesses for frostbite now that we got some decent seats so hell yeah we're about to put it in bolt it in and see what it looks like inside the truck all right Mopar frame we got the passenger seat completely in I got my buddy sitting in the seat right now testing it out and uh, seat belt fits just perfect seat looks good in there um, I mean it's it's really comfortable we both like it the seat is adjustable and that's why I decided to go this method he can scoot it all the way up if you check it out that's all the way back 
You got lots of adjustment there, lots of adjustment forward. And with that adjustment, you can still get to the back, back here, uh, which is nice. But yeah, works good. Complete bolt-on deal. The factory seat belt fits good. Granted, we're going to probably get some harnesses and stuff. Um, and then for these square tubings, uh, we're going to try to find some kind of like table plugs. I've, I've seen like little black plugs that you can put in to cap these bars off. And that would clean it up a lot right there and look pretty good. You could also paint these things if you wanted to. I think I'm just going to cap them off because uh, you really you don't really see them anyway unless the door is open. But looks really good. He's going to hop out so we can get a better look at the actual seat. And it's not too bad to get in and out of either. The uh, Kirky seat covers match pretty good in the truck. They look good. Definitely stoked. So now we're on to the driver's side. <clears throat> there you go. Complete bolt-on deal. Very nice. Works good. Um, about the only bad part of this thing, and it's not really bad, is the factory seat buckle does bolt to this uh, new seat frame. But there's really no way to hold this buckle up. So when you let go of it, it kind of drops down here. So it does make buckling up a little bit more difficult. So I may have to figure out a way to hold this buckle up where we want it. But all in all, complete bolt-on deal to have some really light racing seats that pretty much fits like factory. So there you go. On to the driver's side, which that seat should be a little heavier because it's power seat. So we're going to repeat the process, do the same thing over there. Hell yeah, here we go. All right, guys, we're about to weigh the Kirky setup. This is with everything installed. The whole entire seat bottom bracket, the seat covers on. We have the scale set up with a little bar here to uh, balance the seat on. And we have hit the tear button so the scale zeroes out. And it's only going to weigh, uh, weigh the actual seat. So here we go. Takes a second here to get this thing balanced just right. Looks like we're good. Make sure nothing's touching. All right, it's free floating on the scale. The whole seat with the cover, with the adjustable sliding frame, and my two inch uh, square aluminum brackets. And the total is 32.70. Heck yeah, guys. So without the cover, we actually weighed it without the cover and it was about 30 pounds for the entire setup. So with the cover, you're about 32 pounds. So we have the factory driver seat, which is power on the scale right now. And this seat is exactly about 10, about 10 and a half pounds heavier than the passenger seat. On the scale, we got 60.44 pounds. So, Definitely pretty, definitely heavier than the Kirky combination. So going from the driver's seat to a Kirky seat, you're going to drop 30 pounds. And then on the passenger side, that's the passenger seat, which is not power. Uh, you're going to drop pretty much about 20 pounds on that setup. The passenger seat weighed 50 pounds. The driver's seat weighs 60 pounds. There it is. So hell yeah, we're gonna keep on going, get this uh, other Kirky seat done. All right, Mopar fam, we are done with the seat project. We got both Kirky seats installed in the truck, passenger and driver side. That's what it looks like in the truck. I got this one raked up just a little bit for my for my personal preference is you know for racing and everything i don't want to have it too right back uh the passenger side i got right back just a little bit more for comfort um but they both fit in there nice look good pretty easy drop in uh we did this in 
one day i don't know how long we got in it about ryan said uh, he's saying four hours so not as much as i figured uh you know to drill cut metal and basically figure out how to make it all work on the go so we got four hours in it not bad at all uh like i said pretty much a straight bolt on deal no welding necessary uh, you do have to drill and cut so if you got a sawzall or a chop saw or something like that and a drill and a handful of bolts, you'll be good to go. Link to the seats and the Corbo seat track brackets that I purchased. All that will be in the description below. Um, everything will be in the description below except for the aluminum 2 inch square tubing. Um, I had some of this laying around already. So it's up to you. You could use two inch square steel tubing if you want. Just note it will be a little heavier. The aluminum is much lighter. Um, so I'm thankful I had some laying around. But you're gonna either, you're gonna need to find you a stick of two inch square tubing or aluminum tubing. Uh, you can probably find some at Home Depot or your local steel mart or something like that. That'll be the only thing you'll have to track down yourself. Um, other than that, very very basic bolt on deal just takes a little bit of time like i said we got four hours in it with uh two guys that half ass knows what they're doing sometimes but uh <laughs> hell yeah that's it guys hell yeah guys there you go both kirky seats mounted in the truck again like i said these are mounted on manual seat tracks i'll show you you pull up forward backwards so you can fit a short dude in here or, you know, a taller guy, whatever. Very adjustable. And again, on the brackets here, you can remove a bolt and adjust your, uh, your seat back or forwards by just moving the bolts around a little bit. So pretty much a straightforward deal. Again, I love it. Uh, they fit real nice. These Kirky seats come up pretty high. And man, I'm telling you, they're very comfortable it's you, you kind of feel like you're just being hugged <laughs> they're really snug it, it cradles you really good and uh believe it or not a lot of people would think you're just sitting on a, like a, a metal pan and technically you are but the covers they give you and the way they're designed they are actually very very comfortable i i actually think these are more comfortable than my factory rt seats um they are very comfortable that's all i can say um, so that'll do it for today. As always guys, stay safe out there. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for some of the cool stuff coming on the channel. We'll see you on the next one.